Okay, this is assembled into the configuration which we use for hunting for a moke elk camp. I didn't put the last three sections of pipe on which extend up to 14 feet for a demonstration. So there's an oven, water tank full of six gallons of water, five gallons of water, a pellet burner on the back, a pellet burner hopper, and within the hopper, I've put a mere 10 pounds of pellets in there. Uh, FYI, a single log, about seven inches in diameter, weighs, uh, weighs just about that. I'm expecting to get a, uh, about a four and a half, five hour burn out of just this. Okay, I'll let you know how it goes and I'll start up again when it's time to light the fire. It's 11.30. I'm going to start this up. Verified burn times. So, just going to come to the back of this guy. Going to open up, which opens up the hopper. I'm going to put my Let that go for a minute. Light and pellets. That's good. Pellets are lit and glowing in there. And we're going to go check some temperatures right now to see what temperature the stove is at. It's been about a half hour. Uh, everything's at temperature. Uh, the chute's set on full, so it's uh, giving me full heat on this guy right now. Uh, get you some temperatures in a little bit. Very little smoke coming out of the stack. But there's one item I'm going to be adding here. And everybody should have one if they have a wood stove. A thermal electric fan. Okay, this is made by the good folks of Aspen Systems. And all you do is put it on top of your stove top there. Get some heat to it. And it takes off and it'll circulate. It'll circulate heat throughout your tent like you wouldn't believe. Uh, makes the uh, makes the temperature in your tent very, very uniform. And this thing puts out uh, quite a bit of air actually um, give you a shot of the interior of the pellet burner check status of water didn't bring my thermometer with me but we'll check that temperature here in about another 10 minutes. Okay, at hour three, update.
on 75 degrees there. Water. Hundred and fifty degrees. Could be pretty hot in there. I don't want to get the pellets wet because it is raining. if we could see inside. Looking good. Last tidbit here. After you run out of pellets or you decide you want to switch from pellets to wood, all you do is you take this lever here, you push it forward, that shuts off the pellet feeder and now I'm bur burning regular wood in there so seamless transition